right, this is just a quick tutorial on how to do a linear valve offset calibration on the Gen 2 Prius using Toyota Textream. So you're gonna wanna get everything, you're gonna wanna get the OBD2 connector uh, connected to the port and the PC. And you're gonna uh, connect the vehicle here. I already did that. Um, Prius with smart key, then next. Takes a bit to load, especially on an older PC. All right, then once you're logged in, you're gonna wanna go to ABS VSC track. And then under utility, you're gonna wanna do, uh, well actually we'll just show it here first. So under ECB utility, You want to go down to linear valve offset. This essentially recalibrates the valves for ABS and the brake accumulator. And if one of them is stuck open, it could potentially uh, cause it to um, set back into place as it's supposed to be in the closed position, but it's not a guarantee. It could be something else causing the accumulator leak, or it could just be the valve is completely broken. So um, you click on linear valve offset, and then you go to next. And it'll say, you know, specifically why you should, oh, when you should use this. Um, there might be one more step here I'm missing that I have to done. So first you have to uh, clear the memory, I think, as it says here, the reset memory function, which is back over here. Um, but I don't think I can do it without doing that first. So. Yeah. So we have to turn the vehicle uh, engine off, ready off, and put it into ignition on mode but not ready just gives you some more info um, so yeah it's doing it now but it has the flashing lights on the dash but it's not doing the calibration because I didn't do everything right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna exit this we're gonna exit this function lights went off on the dash so Instead, now we're going to go to reset memory, and then we're going to turn. So it re this resets the memory. This reset memory utility resets both the ABS ECU and uh, the yaw rate sensor. And you'll have to recalibrate that yaw rate sensor too as well after you're done calibrating and doing the linear valve offset for uh, the brake accumulator slash EBS, ABS. So we're going to reset memory. We're going to reset it right now. Just reset it and you can see the lights came on the dash. Um, so now we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna do the, we're gonna turn the Prius off and turn it back into ignition on and we're gonna do the uh, recalibration of the linear valve. So I'm gonna shut off the vehicle. And now I'm turning it back into ignition on with two clicks of the power button. Turn this up here. So. We're just in ignition on mode right now. And we're going to go back into the ECB utility here that has the linear valve offset procedure. Right, and you can see it there, linear valve offset. Next. We already went through all this. Next again. So you can see the lights are up on the screen here still. We're gonna hit next. Now you can see it's they're blinking at different rates. You can hear the accumulator running as it's calibrating the valves. Hear the accumulator running. You hear the ticking too in the background as the valves are sinking. You can hear the ticking in the background and you might be able to pick that up on this microphone. You can see the time is ticking down here. 
And now that these two lights are blinking at the same rate here, that means it's calibrated. You notice all ticking and uh, brake accumulator noises have stopped. And it's no longer cycling and charging up pressure. So the ABS should be rec recalibrated. And this could potentially uh, fix codes that are related to the ABS, such as low accumulator pressure and uh, linear valve offset valves not calibrating. I can't remember the exact codes at the moment. I know one is C1345 and there's another one. But it's basically um, accumulator losing pressure or failing to hold pressure and linear valves failing to calibrate, something along those lines. So this procedure could potentially fix that, but it's not a guarantee. Um, and you can see when both, lights, when both lights blink fast, calibration is complete and they are both calibrated. So then we do next. And the lights are turned back off, so now I'll put the car in ready. And you can see the VSC light is still on. That is because the yaw rate sensor needs to be calibrated because we reset that earlier in the video. So to do that, you have to be on a flat surface. I'm not sure if you're parked in my driveway, it's flat enough, I might have to go up to a gas station. But there is another procedure you have to do to reset the uh, yaw rate sensor, which I act actually am not 100% sure how to do right now at this exact moment, but I will come back with a video for that in a second. All right, so to get the VSC light to turn off, you need to go into test mode. That is the recalibration for the yaw rate sensor. It's been a while since I've done this, so I forgot how to do it exactly. So you'll get another pop-up screen that says that this function is used to calibrate the yaw rate sensor after replacement of the following components. So you just hit next, and then you need to be on a level surface. Uh, steering wheel is straight ahead, shifter is in park, and vehicle in ignition on and not running to calibrate the yaw rate sensor. So I'm going to turn off the vehicle now from ready, and I'm going to hit next on the procedure. I'm going to put it into ignition on. So then you hit next. You can see the, the lights are blinking again up here as it's calibrating the yaw rate sensor. Okay, so we hit next. When the ABS and VSC lights blink, the calibration is complete. Please try again if the ABS and VSC lights does not blink. So they are blinking, so that means the calibration should be complete. And when I put the car back and ready, the VSC light should be off. All right, everything is back to normal now. So after you do the reset memory here, you have to do the ECB utility, uh, linear valve offset calibration, and then go under test mode and do the yaw right sensor calibration. So you have to do both. All right, that's it.